Hi, welcome to the Arvada Center Facebook page. Um, I'm Janet Nunn. I teach watercolor at the Arvada Center and I have a few little tidbits that will be really fun for you to try. Especially when we are not doing a lot of anything, this will kind of relieve a lot of stress that we have and painting will be fun. Now today, we are gonna try something with painting with string. And if you don't have string, the cool part is if you have dental floss, dental floss will work. So with that being said, let's start painting. I'm gonna come right over and change my camera down so you can see it just a little bit better. And you'll see I have a tape and some paper. What I did is, this is watercolor note cards. You could use that. I also have paper that is uh, just a five by seven piece of paper. You could use that too. Um, at the very end, I wanna have a little bit of a frame on it. So to get the frame, I am going to take and take down this note card just with scotch tape. And you can tell that I use the tape dispenser to hold my uh, paper in place. And I'm just gonna go right over here and do this. And I am gonna tape all four sides. And we will be good. One, two, three, four, awesome. Okay, so once you have this, we're ready to begin. I'm gonna move my tape around. Now, um, I said, let's start with some string here. And I can, I can move that up and down, but I'm just gonna take a little piece and cut it off. This is just cooking string. So if you look in your cabinet, you might have it because you might have done this with a turkey. And um, we just wanna make sure that um, it's kind of a cottony string, and so that's that's really good. Um, so I'm going to take this. I also have oh, a little bit of water here. I'm going to just move my camera up just a little bit so you guys can see the water. Just a little bit more. And I'm going to take my little bit of water and my string. There we go. you got to see that part. Just put that in there. It's not going in. There we go. Okay, so we have the string, we have the water, now we need the paint. And I use the Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydra's Watercolors. And um, it's a watercolor that's already mixed. You don't have any mixing to do. But if you don't have these, guess what? You can take your watercolor paint and you need to start mixing because you need to get like a line. Of paint is what you want. This is a um, Hansi yellow light and then I'm going to use a little bit of this gamboge and just make a line of it and then my last color is going to be my favorite color which is quinacridone magenta. Okay so there's my three colors. I have my string in here which is really good. Now, if you're using dental floss, guess what? You don't have to put it in the water. You can just um, skip that step, and here we go. So, take the string out right here like this. It's kind of wet, makes your fingers a mess, and you're gonna dip it in the paint for just a minute. And I want to make sure that I have the string on um, wet paper, so I use a mister. And this mister, I'm going to move my camera down just a little bit more again. You can mist the paper. Now, you might not have a mister, so guess what? You're going to have to get your fingers, fingers dirty, and you're just going to kind of go like this a couple times to get the paper all wet. And you can see that that's all wet. Now. This one I call uh, sunshine. So I am gonna start not smack dab in the middle, but kind of off to the top left side. And I'm just going to 
keep my thumb in position and move the string around and create this wonderful bit of sunshine. I thought that would be kind of nice because we need a little bit of sunshine today. That is for sure. So I'm gonna keep moving my hand around all the way around here. And there's my yellow. It's kind of hard to see, but guess what? Once we add this gamboge, it gets a lot better. So I'm just taking the gamboge, putting my thumb kind of in the same spot and moving around. Now, this is perfect. If you have a painting where you have farm fields and you want to get that nice perspective, oh gosh, the string is just the best thing to use to do this. And then I am going to dip into this quinacridone magenta. And with that, whoops, put my thumb down again, try to get the same spot. And I'm going to add these beautiful little lines that kind of come around. And I kind of like that. Looks like a little bit of a ray of sunshine. I'm just going to add a little bit more water to it as it comes around. And that is a little Miss Sunshine. We'll just kind of let it be for a minute. And to do that, I am just going to remove this tape. Now, the reason why we had the tape on the very beginning is um, we wanted to create a border. And this border kind of will frame your piece because we won't be able to go to the frame shop to go get um, the piece framed right now. But what I can do is I can create my own frame around it. Now this is still pretty wet. Now at home, you probably can be not so wet and you can come around and do a little edge. You can take a ruler, a straight edge, an edge of a piece of paper, and we can go around and kind of get an edge over here. You have to be careful because it there is some water in there, but it works out pretty good. And oops, I'm going to the edge. Going to roll it around a little bit more. And that's kind of what we're doing here. And I'm avoiding the water, but I'm just creating this wonderful frame around it. I got a little finger knob in there, and that's okay. And then I'm gonna come right down here and do this. Okay, usually in the fall time, we have a lot of classes where we do note cards. And these are some of the note cards that we do. And we usually do that in October and November. So that's kind of a fun thing to do. You sign it, and guess what? You have a little bit of ray of sunshine so you can send to your friends. And what a lovely thing to do. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna kind of do some landscapes now. And I'm just gonna move a couple of little things here just so I can get ready for a landscape. And to do that, I'm just gonna move that up and I'm going to grab a different little piece of paper. And this time, for those of you that didn't have the string, guess what? We're going to try dental floss. It's going to be fun. So take out a good piece of dental floss. Here we go. And I'm going to pop it over. It smells good. I love that. I'm just going to set that there. And this time, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to take a couple of different colors. I'm going to use this phthalo blue, and the phthalo blue, whoops, sorry, you just can't see that. Got to make sure you can see it. 
I'm just going to go right there and create a line of phthalo blue. And that's going to be our sky and probably our water. The other line that I'll have is um, got to have some greenery. So there's some sap green. I love that. That's going to be just perfect. And then um, I'm going to use some of these colors that I had prior. I'm going to use quinacrinone magenta, the gamboge, and the Hansi yellow light. So the only other thing I'm going to add is a shadow color. And this shadow color is right here, just like that. Okay, so let's paint. I have, first of all, to get my water. Remember how we uh, did the sprayer? So I'm gonna spray just a little bit. Gotta make sure I get on the whole thing. There we go. Got it. Okay. Now, for those of you that aren't spraying, you're just kind of misting. You can mist your fingers along there and get a whole bunch of stuff. Now, with this, instead of going smack dab in the middle, what if I come along the bottom third and use a little bit of the rule of thirds when I do that? So let's just start right there. So for those of you using the dental floss, uh, you just kind of go back and forth as if you were at the dentist and dip it in there. And then I'm gonna start at this bottom line and I'm gonna go back and forth. Look how nice and straight that line is. But watch happens when I go up top. I can get this beautiful sky and clouds, kind of make some beautiful clouds there. And then if I come to the bottom, I can create just a little bit of reflection of the clouds all by string. And it's so fun and easy to do. And I have a great start to a painting. I'm just mopping up some of this excess right here. And that makes it really nice and easy to do. Okay, so I have this blob right now. And from this blob, I'm just going to add a little bit more. I want to get that line in there. And I'm just going to come right across with that string and pull it across. I mean, how many people can say that you were painting with dental floss? Oh, and I've got some splatters there. Wonderful. So I'm just going to let that be for a minute. Then I'm going to come in and take some of this sap green and the sap green I'm going to use to create some trees. And if you use the trees going up and down like this, you can kind of move this up and down and create these awesome, awesome evergreen trees, trees that are near the water. You got a lake, you got stuff happening. So, there we go. Get some trees in there. Kind of come across. Now I've got some stuff happening in the bottom, so I'm just going to dip into my quinacrinone magenta and come back along this line because when you mix magenta in with uh, the phthalo blue, you get this beautiful violet and it's just gorgeous. And then I'm just coming across and creating a little bit of water. So We've got some fun things happening there. We can still add a little bit more. Just kind of, I need a little yellow in there. Get some highlights going. Kind of good. And then take some of my cobalt violet. And I'm just going to come across. Now, if you ever get the shakes or something like that and you want to create some nice lines, use a string, use the dental floss, and you'll be able to have some very straight lines. It's so nice. 
Now you can see that my trees are exploding, so we'll add a little bit more to them and just kind of mop up some of that excess water that we've been using here. I'll come back to some of that sap green. Now, at home, you can think about all these wonderful people that will love having some of your cards. Or you can just do on pieces of paper. You can frame them and put them in your house and go, oh gosh, I made that. That is so fun. Add a little bit more on the edge there. You can see those trees coming in there. There we go. Get a little bit more. And see as the paper's drying out, you get a little bit uh, less blossom and more detail, I guess. And one more time with the water and the bank. A little bit more of that magenta. Let it do its little work here. There, oh, I like that red in there. That looks good. It's kind of good. So you get some lines. Now this is definitely gives you a feeling of the water and a feeling of the trees, and that's kind of fun. And what I'd like to do now is just take this off the edge and then I'll finish up with one more string line and just kind of show you what all you can do. Now on this one, I use just regular um, watercolor paper because I thought that would be kind of nice. And after each one, I'm just gonna frame the edge and you can tell that after I use the, the tape and everything, that um, I get that nice white edge. If you let it dry, you can do a little bit more with it, but we are just gonna come right here and create an edge. And this, if you guys want to make your own cards, this is a wonderful thing to do. You can send them. If you're into making your holiday cards, guess what? You could add a little white splatter to these and you would have a holiday card. And next year when you're really busy, you'll think about all this time that we had to be creative and you'll say, thank goodness I made all those cards. So there we go again. I'm just framing it up, finishing it up. That way you'll be able to see it. So there, voila, that's pretty easy. Now, let's just have a little bit more fun with um, the note card here, or just this little card here. I'm just gonna get it going in the right spot. I'm gonna use a lot of the same colors. Um, I'm also gonna go back to using my little bit of string that I had cut off. Here's one right here. There we go. So get that wet. Make sure I have plenty of wetness to it. And I'm gonna wet this. There we go. Okay, just make sure that it's all wet. Now, just like I did before, I'm gonna put my my little tray there so you can see it. And I'm just gonna move my camera up just a smidge, just so you can watch as I dip this in here. But see, you just take the edge and dip it into the watercolor and see how it just puts all that moisture on there. Then, I'm gonna start at the top this time. I'm gonna start right here and as the water catches the paint and the paper, it just does all these cool things. And this is really a nice way to create just kind of abstract, wonderful water. And then I'm just gonna move this up a little bit because remember I was gonna make my trees 
look at those trees. They're capturing all that little bit of water that is on the paper and it reacts to it. It goes, it, it, it grows and ah, wonderful. So now I need to add a little magenta because up here we have some beetle kills. So sometimes we have a few beetle kill trees and they kind of have to go in there. See that, that is really fun. And then you just take that same beetle kill and mix it with the blue and come right along here and just make this wonderful edge here. And then I'm gonna add, looks like my paint has just kind of oozed together. We don't care, just kind of nice and fun to do this. And then I'm going to add into that just a few lines. Hmm. And now you can get this wonderful, beautiful little bit of lines that are happening there. And if you have to go back and use a lighter color, you can just rinse out your string and just come right back in. Put a little bit of lightness. I thought I had a lot of dark in there. And I'm just adding a little bit of the gamboge back into it. Okay. And a few more green trees, and we will be on our way to being done. Okay. It's kind of interesting. It's a little wet still up, to, I mean, a little dry. Just might missed it. Notice how I put my hand in front of it just to get a little bit more of that green, I mean, that mist in there, because it'll help those trees to be a little bit stronger. Okay. There we go. Much better with the trees. And one last finishing touch. If you just take the, the string and add a little water to it and go back and forth, it'll lighten up that area. I like that. I'll have to look at it one more time. Kind of edge that a little bit more. And just go right along the edge. Get all that excess water off. And here we go. Go right off. You kind of look at things and when you're painting them, you might go, ooh, I don't like that. But boy, when you come around, you go, oh, it's got a nice edge on it. Now it looks better. That's the best part is when you take it and you add a little bit of light to it or a little bit of a frame to it, it just tells everybody, hey, I got something and it's finished. And that's why each time as I do these, we are finishing them up. And the reason why we're finishing them up is if we don't do it now, we'll never do it. So let's just get her done. I'm just going to come over here. And then one last line. Now, believe it or not, we're doing some online classes at the Arvada Center. We have one at the end of the month. Um, it's going to be April 25th, 9 a.m. We're going to do some man-made 
um, man-made projects and man-made, obviously, probably buildings. And we're going to do that. And then one of my most favorite classes will be on May 3rd at 9 a.m., we're going to do it through Zoom. We're going to do it virtually. It's going to be flowers. And I love flowers. There's a lot of ways to make very fun and creative flowers. So today, what you've done is you could make a painting. And the painting included string, paint, a card. And before you know it, you've got some wonderful wonderful little pieces of artwork that you can have and that you can save. So if you would like to play it again, follow along, do some more things, add different colors, just enjoy. You've got plenty of time and lots of things that you could paint while you're doing this. And it's really fun for the kids because boy, their hands look terrible when they're done. So I'm Janet Nunn, and I wanted to say thank you, and thank you the Arvada Center. Um, they have a lot of fun things going on, and even though they're not going on now, they will be going on, and there'll be a lot of things for you to see. Thank you very much. Bye.